All right, y'all. One thing before we get into this video, the hooks and weights will be in the link in, in the description, and uh, maybe a couple of my favorite Texas rig lures and stuff. But let's get right to it. All right, y'all. Today is a little bit different video. Actually, a lot different video. It's how to do the Texas rig. Now, for this rig, you need hooks, which I have right here. These are my favorite. Uh, the stickies, extra wide gap, 3 aught. Usually I like 4 aught, but 3 aught's good too. Here they are out the package. But you want, you need a hook. It can either be extra wide gap or uh, not extra wide gap. And you need a bullet weight. And of course, a worm. This is how you rig it. You get the bottom of your worm. This is the red part is the bottom. You get the bottom of it. You just take it up at the top. Get it like that. You push it all the way to the top, just like that. So now you got it like this right here. Now. What you're gonna do is flip it upside down and you're gonna line it up. See how it lines up right like that? Alright, now you put your finger right here and then you stick the hook right there where your finger is. Stick it through the worm just like that and then straighten it out. And there is your Texas rig. Now, if you're fishing super heavy wood or something, you can push your worm up like this and then stick the tip of the hook in there. You'll still get just as many fish, but the hook won't stick on all those logs and stuff. What you do is stick the line through the tip of your bullet weight and bring it out the butt end just like you know pretend i got line in my hand you want to stick it in pull it through and then drop it down here and then you're going to tie your worm on but that's the texas rig and yeah that's it now for a texas rig you don't need to have just worms you can use a lizard Texas rig. You can use a, a crawfish style Texas rig and brush hog Texas rig. You can pretty much Texas rig anyways. Another thing you can use is uh, Senkos. You can really throw a Texas rig anywhere. But what I found to be the best is mostly wood and rocks. I hope y'all like this video. If it helped you, then that's great. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh... Most of y'all probably know the Texas rig, but some of y'all probably don't, so it's a very famous rig and it catches a lot of fish. But anyways, I'll see y'all later in the next video. And let me know if y'all want more of this kind of stuff. I can do jigs and all kinds of stuff. So I'll see y'all later.